hello welcome to my youtube channel today on 11th august 2025 the self assessment model paper 1 for the year 2025-26 subject mathematics class 10th is completed the question paper was given for 35 marks and the time allotted was 1 hour 15 minutes so the first question given was the highest common factor of 12 15 and 21 is clearly it is 3 so the answer is b exponent of 2 in the prime factorization of 144 is in the prime factorization of 144 when 144 is continuously divided we will get 2 to the power of 4 into 3 square so the highest power of 2 is 4 next assertion sum of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial 2x square plus 3x minus 4 is minus 3 by 2 reason sum of zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c is c by a so here this is correct but this is not correct so c is the answer assertion a is true but reason is false form a pair of linear equations in two variables for the given conditions five pencils and seven pens together cost rupees 50 whereas seven pencils and five pens together cost rupees 46 so if the cost of one pencil is x rupees say and the cost of one pen is say y rupees then 5 pencils and 7 pens costs 5x plus 7y its amount is 50 given so thereby we get the first equation the second equation is 7 pencils means 7 into x rupees 5 pens means 5 into y rupees the cost of this this is 46 so 7x plus 5y is 46 the discriminant of the given quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3 is using discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac we can calculate it so b square minus 4ac substituting the values of a b c in which then we get d is equal to minus 8 so here common difference of the ap 3 1 minus 1 minus 3 means we have to take 1 minus 3 we have to subtract 1 minus 3 so minus 2 this is the common difference of the first one that is r next for the second arithmetic progression the common difference is 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 so this is given in p so 1 to r 2 to p so 1 to r 2 to p it is present only in c so that's why even the third one is not necessary to compare here so c is the answer state the fundamental theorem of arithmetic every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur solve the following problems two marks questions are given so here find a quadratic polynomial the sum and product of whose zeros are minus 3 and 2 respectively so we have to find the quadratic polynomial here equal to 0 equal to 0 is not present because we are writing the polynomial only so x square minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha beta so here you can take k times also but here no need to take it as k is 1 in this one and here the quadratic polynomial that we get is x square plus 3x plus 2 ninth one check whether x minus 2 whole square is equal to x square plus 3x plus 1 is a quadratic equation or not so expanding x minus 2 whole square using a minus b whole square formula we get this one x square minus 4x plus 4 and the right hand side is given x square plus 3x plus 1 cancelling x square term on either side and bringing all terms to one side we get 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 and in this equation there is no x square term so it is not a quadratic equation next to tenth one find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square minus 2x minus 8 to get the zeros of the quadratic polynomial first we can take 8 
and we can factorize the we can factorize minus 8 not 8 minus 8 that means one root one value should be positive the other one should be negative upon multiplication we should get minus 8 and at the same time the difference of the two such factors should give minus 2 so here it is checked and finally the correct pair is 2 into minus 4 so that's why here this minus 2x is written as 2x minus 4x and the remaining terms in the first two terms x is common in the next two terms minus 4 is common so therefore it is written as x plus 2 into x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to plus 4 11th one the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306 we need to find the integers represent this situation in the form of a quadratic equation here in this question solution is not required but only we have to write the quadratic equation we have to form the quadratic equation let one integer be positive integer be x next integer is x plus 1 that means x and x plus 1 are two consecutive positive integers their product means x times x plus 1 so this is x plus x times x plus 1 it should be equated it to 306 so the product x times x plus 1 is equated to 306 and x times x plus 1 when multiplied gives x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0. This is the actual quadratic equation. So from question number 12 onwards, 4 marks questions are given. So the first 4 marks question is find two consecutive positive integers, the sum of whose squares is 365. The sum of whose squares is 365. So one such positive let one integer be x the other integer will be x plus 1 sum of the squares means x square plus x plus 1 whole square and equate it to 365 so x square plus x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 so adding x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 when 365 is taken to this side we get minus 364 2x square plus 2x minus 364 is equal to 0 divide by 2 we get x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 so x square the factors of 182 minus 182 that means we have to multiply one one positive number and one negative number so that we can get minus 182 but their difference should be plus 1 here the coefficient of x is plus 1 so it is 14 and minus 13 so that's why it is written as x square minus 13x and after that it is 14x and minus 182 so taking common factors and writing this one and solving the quadratic equation we get x is equal to 13 and x is equal to or x is equal to minus 14 but x is equal to minus 14 is discarded it is not taken into account because it is a negative integer we want only a positive integer so 13 is the answer when 13 is the number the next number is 13 plus 1 14 determine the ap whose third term is 5 and seventh term is 9 third term a3 is 5 and a3 is a plus 2d that is equal to 5 let it be equation 1 next a7 is given seventh term and it is 9 so a7 is equal to 9 a7 is a plus 6d is equal to 9 now bring this equation 1 exactly below equation 2 a below a d below d and 9 and 5 that means constants one after over the other you can write and subtracting a a we can cancel 6d minus 2d is 4d 9 minus 5 is also 4 4d is equal to 4 d is equal to 4 by 4 d is equal to 1 substitute d is equal to 1 either in equation 1 or in equation 2 to get a here d is equal to 1 is substituted in equation 1 so a plus 2 times 1 is equal to 5 a plus 2 is equal to 5 a is equal to 5 minus 2 3 we have to write the arithmetic progression so the first term is 3 and the common difference is 1 that means go on adding 1 1 1 so then 3 4 5 6 7 this is the required arithmetic progression so 14th question is answer the following questions by observing the graph 
name the shape of the graph the shape of this graph it is a parabola write the number of zeros of the polynomial this is one zero and this is another zero so there are two zeros write the zeros of the polynomial minus two is one zero plus two is another zero write the product of the zeros of the polynomial just multiply these two zeros so minus two times two is minus four so that's all very simple question and this questions of this type are frequently asked even in the public exam also so solve the following question here it is taken from the pair of linear equations in two variables so x plus 3y is equal to 6 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 are the two equations given by using the graphical method we have to solve it we have to solve them so here on the line x plus 3y is equal to 6 we should take at least two points so the two points are 0 comma 2 and 3 comma 1 and on the equation 2x minus 3y is equal to 2 which represents a straight line on this straight line two points we have to take so the two points that we have taken are 0 comma minus 4 and 6 comma 2 by taking on x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit on y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit the graph can be drawn in this way so the graph intersects the two straight lines intersect at the point 6 comma 0 so which gives x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 this is the solution of this problem this is actually question a and question b is also given 15 b you can complete any one problem one you can leave it in choice so the question b is form the pair of linear equations in the following problem and find their solution graphically 10 students of class 10 took part in a mathematics quiz if the number of girls is four more than the number of boys find the number of boys and girls who took part in quiz so total number of students who participate in the quiz is 10 so if the number of boys is x and the number of girls is y then x plus y is 10 this is equation 1 and next it is given that four girls are more than the number of boys so that means y minus x should be 4 or minus x plus y is equal to 4 to plot the graph first we need two two points minimum a minimum of two two points on each line so on the line x plus y is equal to 10 4 comma 6 is a point and 5 comma 5 is also a point on that one similarly on the other line whose equation is minus x plus y is equal to 4 or y is equal to 4 plus x in any way you can in any order you can write it so the points are 0 comma 4 and 1 comma 5 not only these points any two points you can take for that you can take you can give one value for x you will get value for y similarly you can give one value for y you will get another value for x in this way you can get two two points by taking the same scale that is on x axis one centimeter is one unit and on y axis also one centimeter is equal to one unit if we plot the graph then the graph gives two intersecting lines intersecting at the point 3 comma 3 which means 3 comma 7 sorry this is 3 and this is 7 3 comma 7 so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7 now verification total number of students who participated in the quiz is 10 so 7 plus 3 is 10 and next it is said that four girls are more than the number of boys the number of girls is four more than the number of boys clearly seven girls and three boys means when compared to the boys four more girls participated in it that means seven girls and three boys so in all the ways it is verified so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7 is the solution so in this way the complete question paper with key is brought before you you can check and you can plan from today itself that how can you score more and more marks in the public examinations which may be conducted in the month of march 2026 wish you good luck 
and if you have not subscribed to my channel so far please subscribe to it like it share it to others and write a comment in the same way i will bring the useful material and useful question papers for you and those question papers and the material which i bring may be very useful to you for the coming public examinations thank you for watching